Hi, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. If you're not new here, welcome back. And to jump right into it, if you've read the title, then you know that this is a yearly empties video. So it's a mixture between beauty products, skincare, and makeup. Uh, it is a yearly video because I, first of all, I just recently started like going through my items and putting it, putting it away once I finished with it because I usually just get rid of it, but for the past five or six months, I've been keeping it in like to film this video because I also don't tend to go through products that quickly. So I don't know how some people can have a crap ton of products at, at each month. I don't go through things that quickly, so that's not really something realistic for me. So more realistic are, you know, yearly videos, maybe every six months. But this is what I have, and to, I guess we just start. Uh, first, I'm gonna go through the skincare, body care, whatever, first, and then end with the makeup because that's the most interesting part. So first, we have the what's it called? Bath and Body Works One in a Million Body Cream. This is a lotion. I have eczema, so I tend to have very dry skin. So I need something that'll give it hydrate my skin a lot. I don't know if this necessarily hydrated it a lot, but it definitely made my skin not as dry. <laughs> but there's this one. Then we have the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Lotion. I've used this up. This is my favorite, especially since I have very dry skin. Well, as, as you know, but I used this up completely and it is gone now. For soap, I use, um, what's it called? I use liquid soap, so you, for loofahs and stuff like that. I have the Suave Essentials Aloe and Rose Water, all gone. Then we have, to continue on with body wash, we have the Watermelon and Mint one. This one I have used up as well. Then we have the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Decadent Lotion. So here it is, empty and done. Then we have the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Decadent, the Fragrance, Fragrance Mist, whatever you want to call it. I finished this as well. Now I know that that was very quick and very simple, but I don't really have a lot to say about them other than they did the job. It was nothing, it was nothing like amazing or spectacular. Although I will say that I heavily enjoyed the Victoria's Secret Mist because I like to smell nice and it smells really nice, but I don't think it's for everyone and it probably not the best thing for me <laughs> because I have sensitive skin, but I liked it. It smelled nice. They did the job and moving on. Now for makeup, products I have two lip balms the Maybelline baby lips in my pink yes in my pink it is empty now I'm not going to dig into it so I know this I do have a panning channel but I I'm not going to dig into my product because this is realistically not how I use my items but it is empty. I've met all the way to the plastic part. So there's that. Then I have the Essence Fruit Kiss Caring Lip Balm in Lime Crush. I liked it. I finished it as well. Here's what it looks like. Again, I'm not digging into it because it's just not what I do. Now moving on. For, I have three mascaras. Three. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear mascara. Uh, it's fine. It was okay. I did the job. I got this at the dollar store. For the price, it's perfectly fine. Nothing spectacular or amazing. Then the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Just recently finished this one and I like it. I, I can see why it's a cult classic, why, every, why people just tend to naturally like this one. It was great. I was doing my best to use it, and I really like the look, so there's that. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I liked it, not my favorite in the world, although I didn't really use it the way it's supposed to be used, to the application style. 
So maybe once I'm done all my other mascaras, I'll give this an opportunity. But for now, I have others to go through and I'm in no rush to get more. Now the same way that I had three different mascaras, I have three different eyeliners. This is the Juvia's Place Eyeline I Define Pen Liner. I love this. It works very, very well. I once wore this for over 16 hours and it looked just as good as when I had applied it. So lots of kudos to this, although there was a little bit like, you can see I've been wearing it for a little while, but I don't know if that's because it was wearing away or because I was just really crappy at applying it. But either way, it did an amazing job. This is the Wet n Wild Felt Pro Line Felt Eyeliner. Don't get me wrong, I love this. I just hate the packaging. Because what happens is that sometimes, and this is my second one, or third one, whatever, I think this is my second or third, of using these, and what happens is that the cap flies off. So usually, if you're not careful enough, the cap will pop off and it'll cause the eyeliner to dry. And that's, so that's basically how most of the other one or three of them I've, I've been using happened. Basically the packaging would pop off, the cap would come off and it would get dry and I wouldn't be able to use it anymore. So I don't, it is a good eyeliner, I just hate the packaging. Now this is the e.l.f. eyeliner pen. I used it, I liked it. It did really well actually, I really enjoyed it. And last but not least, we have the Essence Lip Gloss. I think it's called Gold Dust. I'm not 100% sure because what happened, what I don't like about these Essence Lip Gloss packaging is that it wears off. So there's no real sign after a while telling you what it's called or any of the information on it. I assume, and to my best recollection, it was gold dust, but you know, whatever. But this is everything. I finished it. I liked it. It was fine. I'm not the biggest gloss person of the world, but I did finish it. It wasn't horrible. It was actually really nice for the most part. So, yes, that is everything. <laughs> So it's not, it wasn't that rather quick, it wasn't that many products, there's not much to say. It was okay, it did the job, and yeah, it's fine. Thank you for watching. I know it wasn't the most fascinating video ever, but it's, there's just not, not a lot for me to say, you know? Like, maybe I should keep better notes about the products that I'm using, but it's just, there's not too much for me to say. They were good, they did the job, I enjoyed it. That's about it. <laughs> so there's that. But if you're curious, that's everything for the past couple of months that I've been using and saving up. And now I can finally get rid of all of this. <laughs> Bye guys.